Oh, well, well, it's about time where Harvey gets a lead role. Yes, he got some of a lead role in a most singular engine, but that was basically also about, like, Daisy and Diesel and Harvey. But this one is fully about Harvey. I was really excited for this episode. A little bit disappointed on some parts, but it still makes up for the amazing comedy in this episode. So, let's review Stuck in Gear. So, the plot about Stuck in Gear is that uh, there's a fallen branch on a line, and since Harvey is too shy to ask for help, he tries to push it out of the way, but then um, some toys get stuck in his crane arm, and he doesn't want to, like, go to the scene works because, you know, he'll feel embarrassed. So, anyway, so there was a big bad storm that happened on the island of Sodor, and there was branches and also puddles everywhere. Okay, this just begs the question. If Emily was literally able to break those um, two branches with her wheels, then how in the hell wasn't James able to in freaking um, Toad's Adventure back in Season 18? I mean, he ran over a branch and it didn't break whatsoever. Same with Thomas in The Adventure Begins. He ran over a branch, even though it kind of just got knocked off the line as soon as he ran over it. He didn't even get derailed. Is it because of Emily's massive wheel? Anyways, back to the episode. After Emily breaking those two branches, there's a huge one on the line and she stops just in time. And now she's stranded. Then she sees Harvey and then she bounces. Then they give a little introduction to Harvey. I mean, even though they did it in a most singular engine, it would make sense since he hasn't had an episode to himself in like three years, I believe. Actually, it was four years. I still find it funny that the engines are technically still bound. I'm gonna mention this in every single video of an engine bounces. I still find it funny that every single engine like bounces still in the series, just not that often. It's not like they move around throughout the whole entire episode like Chuggyton, but they just move slightly, like you know back then the old episodes. Before bouncing was created in Tosquin. So, anyways, Harvey lifts up the tree and then everyone cheers for him. Because of this, he feels embarrassed, apparently. You think he would feel shy, not embarrassed. And then he just acts like a scary cab, which apparently doesn't knock his cab over, and drops a tree in front of him. I do really like Harvey's character in this episode, but I just kind of wish it was sort of used for our episodes because it sort of just looks like that he's a new engine that just arrived at Sodor, and he's shy, and he doesn't know everyone, and when everyone cheers for him, he, he just acts like a scary cat. Well, at least he's not Henry, even though I still love him. Later on that day, Harvey spots a humongous branch in his way. Harvey was going to get Rocky, but he was too shy to ask for help, so he decides to push it out of the way himself. This ends up damaging Harvey's crane arm, which means that he can barely spit it anymore. Speaking of falling tree branch, my house literally just had a- we didn't have a storm or nothing, but there was literally a falling tree branch. Like, in our backyard, but my dad got out of the way. I was just pointing that out. So meanwhile, while Harvey's working at Brendan Docks, his crane arm becomes stuck completely. I actually kind of wish that Harvey and Porter, um, you know, interacted with each other, because that would actually make a good comeback to, like, gone fishing. I mean, I'm okay with cranky and salty, but at least Porter could have said, like, you know... Maybe he could have helped Harvey, or maybe he could have, like, guess his I Spy joke. <gasps> Bill and Ben! Haven't seen Bill and Ben since season 19. Well, technically since Journey Beyond Sodor and The Great Rays, but they just cameo in that movie overall. 
and they didn't even appear in season 20. For a fact, Marion and Timothy, Bill and Ben didn't even appear in season 20. Seriously, I miss these guys. Can Bill and Ben get another episode to himself? So, Hari decides to distract Salty and Cranky with a, uh, I Spy game. Oh yeah, by the way, um, everyone has been pointing this out. Do you see, like, a track next to Cranky right there? People have been saying that that's supposed to be the track that the new Crane, um, Carla is supposed to be on next week in Cranky's new episode. So that's actually pretty interesting. They're adding Grail like Bearsford. So, I'm guessing Carla may be just like, not like the same type of Crane like Cranky, but sort of like Bearsford, how she goes on like, those kind of rails. Like, a Crane, I don't know how to say this, a Crane on rails. That type. Yeah. And speaking of Carla, next week, Big Mickey is going to get a face. Yeah, you heard correctly. Big Mickey is going to get a face next week. But we'll get to that next week when the new episodes come out. So Harvey tries to get away, but then he goes backwards, and he nearly kills Workman. That's a little dark. I mean, even though I guess it was supposed to be a little bit of comedy, but still, that's actually a little dark. I mean, not like really dark. Like, Shad 17 dark? I just mean, like, you know, he nearly ran over them. That would, that was, that was a little violent, but, you know, still pretty... No, not cool. Not cool, Harvey. Not cool. <laughs> uh, bye. So, Harvey spots a tunnel that he can hide in. Perfect. I'll hide in that tunnel. No one will be able to make a fuss or make fun of me in there. <laughs> Yay! I find it super funny that Harvey just says yay, like, yay, like he's a child or something. It's funny. So Harvey struggles to get his crane arm inside the tunnel, but he can't get out. Then Harvey has an idea that he can move his crane arm around if he tries to push himself into the tunnel. But then he starts to derail. No, you're not. And he falls down like a toy. No, I've done it. And then, ironically, Salty and Lurie just stalks Harvey. Luckily, that's actually a good thing. Just to guess what the I Spy thing was. Uh, oh, uh, hey. yes. <laughs> it's, I still find it ironic how Salty Lurie just stalks Harvey, like, with stalks Emily in that season 11 episode, just to get the I Spy thing. I mean, even though that's not what Whiff did to Emily in season 11, but still, I, I just find it funny. So, Thomas takes Harvey to the scene where to get fixed. His new crane arm is fixed and very movable. And then we get the best moment from Harvey ever. Although it did take a bit of getting used to. I literally can't stop re-watching that clip over and over. That's too funny. I mean, seriously, it looks like that Harvey's trying to get the crane off of his head. Like, seriously, he spent it like 100 miles an hour. Oh yeah, and Harvey bounces again. And his hook is tied up. Oh, that was funny. So that was my review of second year. What do I think of it? This has to be my favorite episode of the week so far. Like seriously, the episodes just keep on getting better and better. I am pretty excited for the Runaway Engine episode, but I just don't think it'll be as good as this episode because Harvey's one of my favorite characters in the series. I mean, my favorite characters in a show, like in um, first, second, and third, is Thomas first, Duck second, Percy third. But Harvey has to be my fourth after this, because I don't know. There's something about him that I just love, because this episode really made him hilarious. The way how, like, he's too shy to ask anyone, 
the way how he's just saying, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, or the way how he just spins his crane like a top. Oh my gosh, I give this up to a 5 out of 5. You know what, a 6 out of 5. You know what, a 10 out of 5. Five. This is way too amazing. I also love how the drivers of firemen aren't even doing anything. Good job with the non-railway realism. Eat your heart out, Rub W. Andre. I just can't. That doesn't mean I hate Rub W. Andre. I mean, he got me into talking to friends. Not really. But, you know, still. But anyways, thank you for watching this review. Um, Tomorrow I'll do the runaway engine. Sorry this was uploaded so late. My phone had to be charged, which I'm recording with. So I'll see you later. I got some pizza that I had to eat in the kitchen. I had to replay that clip again. It's too funny.